Hello and welcome to this video on acid-base definitions. My name is Eric Kim and in this video we'll be describing the equations and the necessary information to calculate pH. We described in another video about how the pH depends on the relative distribution of hydrogen ions versus hydroxide ions. In this video we're going to dig deeper into that concept and analyze the value of pH and what it directly means for the concentration of hydrogen ions and more indirectly for the concentration of hydroxide ions. pH is a log scale and one whole number corresponds to a tenfold difference. So for example going from pH of 7 to 6 means that you've multiplied the concentration of hydrogen ions by 10. The equation for pH is negative log of the concentration of the hydrogen ions. Notice the negative sign. It indicates an inverse relationship. That's why a low pH corresponds to a really high concentration of hydrogen ions. We can also use this information to calculate pOH values, which we'll cover on the next slide. pOH is defined in a very similar fashion. The pOH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of the hydroxide ions. However, you can also calculate this based on the pH value. The two terms are related by this equation, pH plus pOH equals 14. This relationship is described in a set of videos about water autoionization. The takeaway here is that the two p terms are very much related. Since the sum has to equal 14, a neutral pH is where the concentration of hydrogen ion and hydroxide ions is the same, and that will be at a pH and pOH of 7. A low pH signifying lots of hydrogen ion concentrations means that the same solution has a correspondingly high pOH value with low hydroxide ion concentration. And a high pH means that we have a low pOH value. Because of this equality, we can infer so much information from one value. For example, from one pH value, we can calculate the hydrogen ion concentration using the log relationship and using the pH plus pOH equals 14, calculate the pOH value, and then use the log relationship again to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration. In this supply question, we're asked to calculate the pH of the following solutions. In A, the concentration of hydrogen ions is 5.2 times 10 to the minus 5. What equation relates hydrogen ion concentration and pH? The equation to use is pH equals negative log of the concentration of the hydrogen ions. Plug in the value of the concentration of the hydrogen ions, and the pH is 4.3. In B, we're asked to calculate the pH given the hydroxide ion concentration. One additional step here, but still doable. First, calculate the pOH by using the equation pOH equals negative log of the concentration of the hydroxide ion. The pOH is 2.6. Then use the equality pH plus pOH equals 14 to give us a pH of 11.4. The second part of the apply question asks us to compare the pH values of two solutions. Remember, the pH value and the concentration of hydrogen ions are inversely related, and a higher pH will correspond to less hydrogen ions in solution. So keep this in mind as we tackle these questions. In A, solution 1 has a lower concentration of hydrogen ions compared to solution 2, as indicated by the more negative or smaller exponent value. This means that solution 1 has a higher pH compared to solution 2. We can also just calculate this. Using the equation pH equals negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ion, pH of solution 1 is 8.3, and the pH of solution 2 is 7.1. Therefore, solution 1 has the higher pH. In B, we have to be careful. We're asked to compare pH, but we're given the concentration of hydroxide ions, so let's do this methodically. Solution 1 has a higher concentration of hydroxides compared to solution 2. And thinking about that balance, that means that solution 1 must have a lower concentration of hydrogen ions compared to solution 2. Since the concentration of hydrogen ions is inversely related to pH, solution 1 must have a higher pH or is more correspondingly basic compared to solution 2. Again, we can use our calculations to confirm this. The pH of solution 1 is 11.7 and the pH of solution 2 is 7.0. Make sure you practice both the calculations and the relationship. 
Because of the inverse relationship, these types of questions tend to be a trap if you're not keeping track of the definitions. Great job building the foundations of pH.